That dealership that sold the van failed to complete the registration and obtain a permanent license plate. Daddy. Stan Smozik and his wife love getting their 17-year-old son out of the house. He was born with a disability called poor encephaly. Um, basically had a stroke while he's still in the womb and uh, it stopped the development of his left hemisphere. Getting him in and out of their car though is not ideal. Inside the house we actually have a lift that is wonderful but it doesn't work with the car. So Stan tells me they decided to invest in a van that is wheelchair accessible. They paid more than 10 grand for the van from Ocean Motor Cars in Largo in March. He loves getting out and seeing things and uh, just doing a lot of things and that's kind of why we wanted to buy the van so we can get him out more and make it easier on us because now that he's 17 he weighs over 100 pounds it's hard to load him in and out of the car. Florida law requires dealers to register a car in the new owner's name within 30 days and allows for only two temporary tags. So when the second tag expired on March 25th, the family had to park the van. Stan tells me the dealership offered excuses and then stopped communicating. Well, how does it feel seeing the van there that could be giving you freedom to get your son in and out easily and it's just sitting there? It gets frustrating. It's really frustrating because you know that we need to get him to doctor's appointments like Monday he had a doctor's appointment for his follow-up from coming out of the hospital. When no one at Ocean Motor Cars answered the phone I paid the Largo business a visit. No one came to the door and a sign indicates it's appointment only. For now this family starts the van from time to time and lets their son sit in the van but they tell me it's heartbreaking that they can't actually drive anywhere. We didn't know what to do. It's kind of frustrating because you feel like your hands are tied and there's nothing you can do just because who do you turn to on stuff like that? Well, I'm happy he decided to turn to me. I reached out to the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, and they are now investigating this case, and they called the family today to issue them a new temporary tag, and that should mean that they'll be on the road again by tomorrow. Well, that's good news, mm -hmm. uh, but what's the long-term solution for all of this, and is there any sort of repercussion against the dealer? Yeah, because I mentioned that's a temporary tag that they are going to be issuing. It's not clear whether the dealer is still in business. Public records, I looked those up today, show that the dealer's license expired on April April 30th and a state spokesperson tells me that they are working to get the family permanent plates and registration. I will continue to help them through this and update all of you when this is completed and hopefully it'll be a really good story when he can Travel be in that and van and be able to go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shannon.